Um, about 10 or 12 years ago, I um, listened to Mike Van Ambra when he came over from Cornell University and he was doing a round of lectures. I think uh, Dairy Co were funding it. And he was talking about um, accelerated feeding and putting in more and more whole milk. Um, and you can't physically do it in two feeds a day. You can't get enough nutrition into them because the volumes of milk are too big. So the only way you could go about it with uh, whole milk is by putting them on a totally ad-lib system. And um, you know that is, that is um, a possibility. Um, you'd probably have to uh, put a lot of effort into keeping the, the whole milk fresh um, and probably have to warm it up. Um, we use a, a device called a, a heat wave machine to, um, to warm it up on the way to the teat. Um, but uh, you know it, it can be done, um, but it's a bit fiddly and the hygiene is a bit dodgy. And um, if somebody's got Yonis disease on the farm, I would definitely not recommend feeding whole milk. And it's not just Yonis disease. You know, you can get TB, uh, Staph aureus, um, all sorts of other diseases transmitted through whole milk. And unless you're very, very sure of the disease status on the farm, um, with a heifer calf, I would always suggest um, up to five days on colostrum and uh, then straight onto milk powder and then keep the heifers on the milk powder. Don't let them go anywhere near, near whole milk. Um, so that, that, that would be my, my advice. Um, if somebody's expanding their herd, they're probably going to be using a lot of sex semen. So again, they've gone out and spent a lot of money on the genetics. But having done that, there's a lot more heifers to be reared and they're probably going to want to look at that a little bit more closely to get that genetic potential out of them. And things like the computerised calf feeding system, uh, where they've got to go and outlay you know, anything up to £10,000 on a 100 on a column machine, um, they're going to want to see a return on that investment. And um, I think you know, there is an increasing interest in getting the, um, uh, the environment right and getting the feeding system right. And you know, the closest thing you're going to get to a calf being reared on a cow getting back to nature, if you like, is to put them on a, on a computerised feeding system. Uh, but the farmer will be much happier on a computerised feeder because um, you can actually manage the weaning much better than you can if you're weaning them off a cow. Um, I always bang on about colostrum over and over again, right at the beginning of the life. I always um, make a big fuss about 10% uh, of body weight in the first six hours of life. Um, we do sell colostrum management systems to uh, encourage farmers to, to, get, to get that part, um, uh, to get it right and to put uh, colostrum protocols in place. And then um, we try to get the animal to double its birth weight by the time it's eight weeks old. And in my experience, most animals uh, do start to eat a reasonable amount of dry feed by the time they're eight to nine weeks old. And uh, I think with this accelerated feeding program, you do have to make sure that they're getting about two kilos of cake by the time you wean them off. And you need to take that weaning curve very, very slowly, because if you uh, suddenly halve the amount of milk they're getting overnight, it's such a shock to the system, um, you will get a huge post-weaning slump. But if you can manage that so that you're stepping it down gradually over about 18 to 21 days, um, and in fact, if you're using a computerised feeder, it's dead easy because it drops the volume by 0.2 of a litre a day um, within the feed programme. Um, encourage people to do that nice and slowly, then they'll come onto the dry feed, and uh, after that, you should be expecting um, about three kilos of cake intake and about a kilo of live weight gain uh, all the way through to 12 weeks old. So I'd expect my calf to get to 120 kilos by the time it's 12 weeks old. Yeah, farmers. Um, they're not the easiest people to, uh, to convince. They, um, they're often very concerned about the cost and don't really look at the benefit. So, you know, it's been our role really to introduce these ideas and make sure that um, if they are spending their money, they're spending it wisely and they're buying a decent quality milk powder with a high digestibility um, and feed plenty of it. And uh, you know, that sort of guidance, it's really paid off with some of my customers. Um, you know, it's no surprise that we're dealing with some of the highest yielding herds in the county. And I like to think that, you know, we have had some influence on that over the years. And um, that's one of the nice things about my job is that you do see um, the payback. You do see uh, farmers improving over the years.